Hi guys, um, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're we'll doing a match day. I'll be doing a match day vlog for our away trip to Rotherham. Uh, um, today, uh, yeah, on sa Saturday, the fifth of November. Obviously, because I'll um upload a bit late later than that, maybe. Uh, because I I have time to edit. I'll probably edit it on the way home. Depends how many clips there are and stuff. But yeah, uh, onto the game. I think this will be a really tough test for us because Rotherham um, have been on very good form for a newly promoted side. I, I'm not really sure um, what they've been like since their manager uh, Paul Warren has uh, departed to go to Derby. But I, I I've just only only just found out to be honest. They've brought in a new manager. They brought him him in ages ago, but. I only just found out. I knew they were linked with him, but I don't know if they pointed him out. I just thought Matt Taylor, the former Exeter uh, coach now, he um, manager now, because obviously he's a rather manager now. But yeah, he used to manage Exeter. Um, yeah, I think they're doing alright. Uh, I know. I mean, they've obviously slipped a little bit since the departure of Paul Warren. But it'll still be a. Um, be a decent game, I reckon. Um, we should be um want uh, looking to get three points after not winning. Uh, only like two wins in six, I'm pretty sure for us. Um, so it's not one of the um yeah um. So it's, it's not like we're playing Sheffield United um um Burnley or something like that. But um, or, yeah, we got a couple of good teams out of the way. Um. Now we've just got to um, get the wins against the mid-table teams. I mean, Rotherham will be a tough test for us because you know, they have started off the season well, as I as I said. Um, but yeah, I reckon we will get the win today. I reckon um, one 0 to Norwich. All right, I reckon. No, I, I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go scrap that. Scrap that. Uh, I'm gonna go for three one Norwich. Uh, I reckon. We'll have the quality to beat Rotherham. I don't really know how we're getting three goals away from home, but you know, uh, we will, in my opinion. For um, some for some reason, I think that. But yeah, um, it's it's the last two games. One of the one of the last few games before the international break. So we've got this game away at Rotherham and Middlesbrough at home next week. Um. So um. Yeah. It's important we pick up momentum going into the World Cup break. Obviously, no, I don't. I don't think many people are are looking forward to the World Cup. Um, I I'm not really, but I probably will when um it starts. But I'm not really because it's in the mid. I'm not a fan of like where it is um in Qatar, and um and it's in the middle of the season. But yeah, we're getting a bit off topic there. But yeah, we'll we'll probably see you. Uh, I'll probably see you when we get to the new. Uh, I think it's the A. Ansel New York Stadium, I'm pretty sure. Sure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. But yeah, um, I, I yeah, I will see you then. Um, so yeah, bye. uh, uh, bye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hi guys, uh, we're in the stadium now. Uh, we were going to be up the top, but we've um managed to get down the front. Uh, because I like playing uh, down the front a bit, a bit more because it like I'm it amongst it kind of thing. But yeah, um. Because at the top you're a little bit far away from the other fan, so yeah, um, the other home away fan, so yeah. Uh, but the team news is out. It's Gun and Goal, Aaron, Hanley, Gibson at the back. I'm pretty sure we've gone for like a three back formation. Um, Hayden, McCallum, Sarah, Ramsey, Pookie, McLean, Sergeant. Obviously, it's not not they're not playing where they uh, are. Uh, but um, it's uh, on the edit they um, do it number order. So yeah, it's a decent team. I don't know if Sergeant's up front, then it's good. Uh, good to see him back as well. If Sergeant's up front, it's good. But it's a bit harsh on Campwell as well because he's been very good um, recently. To be honest, uh, in fair to him, he's been very good. Um, Nunez isn't isn't even on the bench. I I, I don't really know why. Uh, but yeah, he, he's not on the bench. Uh, the bench is Cruel, Hugel, Dow, Cantwell, Hernandez, Janulis, Gibbs, 
Janulis is back in the match day squad after a, 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 yeah, a crack in his rib, uh, after suffering a cracked rib in the game against um, um, Sheffield United. Um, so that's good to see as well. And yeah, I I'll probably speak again at half time. But yeah, come on, yellow, come on, yellow. Last time, um, it's at the um, New York Stadium in Rotherham. It's Nor uh, it's Rotherham United nil, uh, Norwich City one. But we lead thanks to a goal from I think it was Kenny McLean um, header. I think it was. I have to look back, but but yeah, it's good we've taken the lead. I think Rotherham have probably had the better ch the better of the chance that they had load of um, close opp um, opportunities from to score from close range. So um, uh, luckily for us, they haven't been able to put their chances away, and our, our defence has been okay. I guess it needs to, it, it needs to, we need to improve defensively and attacking wise in the second half. Get more uh, tack, get uh, get on the attack a bit more to score some more goals. Because um, right now it's looking like Rotherham will get the equaliser anytime soon. So yeah. But our defence hasn't been the, the best bit, it hasn't been the worst. Because, um, uh, but yeah, you just ignore this stuff in the background. And it's got a bit of adverts on their sponsors. Pretty, pretty stupid, but yeah. Um, I'd bring on Todd in the second half, I don't know who for, but yeah. Kenny, Kenny McLean's been alright, I guess, because he scored, I think. But, um, but he, he gave the ball away uh, a little bit. He, he played, played a poor pass, I mean. Um, to like basically no one, basically nearly off the pitch, but if it wasn't for Sara, could go, go, go and get it. But yeah, a decent first half from us, at least we're winning, I guess. But yeah, uh, football in a library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, they've been quiet all game, rather than fans, just basically out of the top of their life. Um, so yeah, um, Colin Yellow. <laughs>